Hello everyone, welcome to Jets TV. Please comment, rate, subscribe guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos as well. Um, this video, as you can tell by the title, it's going to be about <laughs> we literally just fired uh, Rex Ryan and John Idzik. Um, I know a lot of people have hit me up asking me my feelings about that. John Isaac had to go. I have no issue with that man being fired. He should have been fired earlier this season. He deserves to be gone. He's trash. He has no clue of player personnel. He made a lot of dumbass moves, and he deserves to go. My thing about Rex Ryan being fired is I'm very unsure about the future of this team. Um, I felt like Rex wasn't given the, the tools to really win this year at all. Um, if you looked at our roster, like, and what John Isaac did to this team, there was just no way that any coach really could win with what he was given. There's just no way. Um, I know that Rex made made mistakes, just like any coach makes mistakes. He did make a lot of mistakes, but I just felt like he kind of deserved maybe another year. Um, I, I just I just really think we might have jumped the gun with firing Rex Ryan. I, I, I always think that because, like I said again, I don't think we gave him the tools to be successful. Um, I'm, I'm weary about the future because I don't trust our owner, Woody Johnson. Um, I don't think he cares about winning football games. I never have. Uh, he makes a lot of really dumbass moves. Um, one that comes to mind is uh, Tim Tebow. Uh, he was, he, I don't care what he says <laughs> because Woody does this all the time where he'll make a dumbass move and then he'll say, oh, I didn't have nothing to do. Yes, you did. Like, yes, you did. You brought in Tim Tebow because you wanted to sell jerseys. And we talked about that. I made a video about that as well on my channel uh, when it happened. And that was a really dumbass move. But, you know, the team would have been so much better if we would have went out and got a right tackle because that's when we had Wayne Hunter, who was literally a turnstile out there. And, you know, he was the worst right tackle in the league, and we literally couldn't drop back because we had a terrible right tackle who was getting beat by everybody and anybody. Um, I don't trust Woody Johnson. I don't trust his judgment. Uh, I don't trust him to pick another head coach of this franchise. I feel like when you look at a lot of the coaching jobs as well that become open, uh, from the Falcons to Chicago, Mark Tressman just got canned, um, you know, there's, I just feel like there's more attractive jobs out there. And I, I wonder, why would you come here? I, I look at our team where you're literally going to have to rebuild our secondary. Uh, we have no quarterback to speak of at all. Um, it's like, where do you go? You, you, you're probably going to have to rebuild, pretty much rebuild the offensive line as well. I just feel like, like I said, there's a lot of more attractive jobs. There's just there's there's jobs out there that are open that are just way more attractive. Like I said, Atlanta, Chicago, those are two teams where it's like, you know, you basically need to go in there, figure out their defense, get them together, and you can move, you can go because Atlanta's offense is already there. It's already put together. It's that defense that's trash. Uh, Chicago is the same way. Even if you, you know, get rid of Jay Cutler, you get a game manager in there. That's fine, too, because they still got two Pro Bowl receivers. They got Martellus Bennett, Matt Forte. That defense is trash, though. If you look at the the head, the top head coaching candidates right now, you got Todd Bowles, uh, you know, the defensive coordinator for uh, the Falcon or the Cardinals. You got Dan Quinn, the defensive coordinator for Seahawks. And you got Josh McDaniels. I don't want to have anything to do with Josh McDaniels here um, at all. I don't want to fucking I don't want to even deal with that guy. <laughs> I don't want to deal with him at all. I don't. I, I remember what he did with the Broncos. He is a crazy nut job. That was the guy that drafted Tim Tebow. That was the guy that blew up the Denver Broncos, got rid of Jay Cutler, got rid of Brandon Marshall. I mean, he destroyed that team. And I don't want to have him have nothing to do with our squad at all. I mean, we're, we're, we're not great, but believe me, I've seen him literally destroy a team. So that leaves us with Dan Quinn and, you know, Ty Bowles. So it's like... You know, <laughs> who, who's to say that those guys come here? Why come here when you have other jobs that are open? Another job that I think that is that is not I wouldn't say under the radar, but the Raiders, uh, you know, they're not a bad franchise. When you really look at it, I could see Rex Ryan going there and being extremely successful. Um, but they have a rookie quarterback that's solid. Carr is a very solid quarterback. He can be I mean, he's making progressions. And he's looked pretty good this season. Um, 
And that defense needs some work, but they have the tools. And if you keep Hugh Jackson there, who knows what that could turn into. So I just think there's just so many more attractive jobs here out there than us. Just so much more attractive than the New York Jets. I don't want to have anything to do with a head with a college coach at all as a head coach. I do not want to hire some fucking college coach from wherever. This offensive mind. Um, and that's why <laughs> that's why I don't I, again why I didn't necessarily like the firing of Rex Ryan. It's just like when you look at this this pool of coaches, it's only three of them that really stand out. One, again, the Josh McDaniels I don't want to have nothing to do with. And then the other two, it's like, do you, are you do you think you can really bring them here? Because I remember, like I said, the last time we fired Eric Mangini, how long it took us to get a coach in here. That's how we ended up with Rex. Um, Rex was not our first choice. He wasn't even our fucking second choice. Um, he was like our fourth or fifth. We couldn't get a guy in here. We could not bring a guy in here. Um, same thing when we fired the general manager, Tannenbaum. Couldn't find a guy to bring him in here. We ended up with dumbass John Idzik, who shouldn't have been hired in the first place. He wasn't even on the radar of any other NFL team besides us. And he wasn't even on our radar. He was like some guy that we just found. He wasn't on our radar to really come in. All the guys that we had offered the job to didn't want to come here. So, I'm nervous. Um... I don't necessarily like the firing because I really felt I really still feel like Rex has a Super Bowl in him and at least one. And I feel like he's going to go somewhere. Like I said, he can, I, I could literally just see him going to the Raiders next year. Um, you know, keeping the offensive coordinator that's already there, schooling that defense up, and they could become something in the AFC West and eventually could dominate the AFC West because Peyton's only got... Maybe two more years, maybe. Because that arm is looking like a noodle. And I could see him really flourishing out there and making the Raiders a legit team again to be afraid of in the AFC, to be afraid of in the NFL. Um, I just, I just, I, 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 I don't think I'll ever be okay with us firing Rex Ryan unless we get somebody who's just out of this world. And I just, I can't see that. Um, I told everybody that was in my inbox, I told all the fans that I would talk to 24 hours a day, that Jets fans that want to get rid of Rex Ryan, be careful what you wish for. Because now he's gone. And let me tell you, the, the coaches that are out there, I don't like too many of them, if any of them. Uh, like I said, my, my vote goes with Dan Quinn or Todd Bowles, and I am not sure that either one of those guys comes here. So... I'm nervous, guys. <laughs> I'm very nervous for this team, and I'm very nervous for this franchise. And I just, I, I don't trust Woody. I don't trust Woody Johnson. If you're a smart man or woman that is watching me, or a woman or man that is watching me, you would be smart not to trust that man either. So I'm going to wait and see, but I'm, I'm telling you right now, I, I, I didn't necessarily like the firing of Rex Ryan. I didn't like it at all, and uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. So... Thank you guys for watching. As usual, guys, you know, have a happy holidays. Enjoy your time with your family. You know, comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Tell me what you think about this, guys. What do you think about us firing racks like this? Do you? I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of comments saying, hey, it was his time to go. But, I mean, really, do you really believe it was his time to go with, with the garbage that John Idzik put together? I mean, do you think that any coach could have done better than, uh, than, you know, what Rex did here? I mean... We got a lot of work to do this off season, and it could it could get real bad for us. So, again, man, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, comment, rate, subscribe, share the videos. Peace, guys. Have a happy holidays and have a good day.